Hey, scientists. We are going to do a little bit more work today thinking about spruce the sea turtle. And, excuse me, we're going to continue to think about how do animals and plants survive? And of course, focusing on their structure. So today, we're going to do some thinking during this video. But afterwards, we are going to be doing some writing. Now, when I say writing, I don't mean just drawing a picture. We are going to be writing down some ideas. And I will be sending pictures of your ideas to the aquarium so that we, we're all animal and plant specialists and experts now, so that we can share our learnings with other students. Now to get started, I am gonna share my screen so that we can take a peek at some of these slides to review and get our ideas down. So let's take a peek at the first question or the first idea. So this says explaining spruces defenses. So we're gonna be explaining how spruce uses her structure to defend herself. So our question, of course, we've been working on, how can spruce the sea turtle survive where there are sharks? And we have been thinking about different parts of structures. So we're gonna continue to use those ideas to figure it out. Now, here's a big, big group of words I'll read to you. We are going to write to the aquarium director to communicate what we learned about how spruce can survive where there are sharks. We will talk about our ideas together to help decide what to write. Then, I will write our ideas. So this friends, right now, we're gonna be kind of discussing over this video. You're gonna write down all of your ideas in your journal, and then I will be sharing those with the aquarium director. And we see this big word communicate, oops, and that just means to tell, to tell someone, communicating. All right, so the next slide, you got a little sneak peek. <gasps> And here we see a picture of spruce. And I think that spruce looks a little camouflage. So that might be something we tell the director on how she can survive. So let's take a peek. It says, what does the sea turtle have to defend itself from predators? What types of defenses do sea turtles not have? Now we've been thinking about different types of defenses like spikes or spines. I don't know if spruce has spikes or spines, but I do know that spruce has a hard shell. So that might be an idea that we come back to. So again, what does spruce use her hard shell to do? So I want everyone to think, how does spruce use that hard shell to protect herself from sharks? And you're gonna get some ideas and after this video, we will write them down. So here it says, let's work together to write our ideas about how Spruce uses her shell. Now here you see a page where it says, how can Spruce the sea turtle survive where there are sharks? We are not gonna be using this page. We're gonna be just using a page in our journal and I'll show you more about that, how we'll do that. But now we're just thinking about how does that shell help spruce? <gasps> what does spruce use camouflage to do? So how is spruce able to help herself using camouflage? How might that protect her when swimming with sharks? And again, we're not gonna use this page, but we might think about how camouflage has helped spruce with survival. So friends, we have learned a lot about how plants and animals defend themselves. And this is gonna be our chance for you to show Miss Manning what you've been learning. So now, let me go ahead. I got a little head start. I know that last time we were working in our journal, we drew a picture of a camouflage plant or animal. Now today, I started by drawing a picture of spruce. 
And of course, I labeled my picture. So here I have spruce and I labeled the top that says hard shell. And I also wrote camouflage. Now Miss Manning is not done. I need to add some color because right now spruce doesn't look super camouflaged. But here we have a start of a sentence. Spruce survives. And we're gonna have to think about what can we tell the director at the aquarium, how does spruce survive? Maybe you'll write, spruce survives by using camouflage in the green area of the ocean where she can hide. You might also add, spruce has a hard shell to protect herself from sharks. So friends, I don't want to just see you write spruce survives because that's not really telling how spruce survives. So this is gonna be a little bit of writing today. We're not doing writing in other areas of our day. So this is kind of instead of our writer's workshop. So I really wanna see some full sentences here. Spruce survives using camouflage to blend in with seagrass or to blend in with the rocks. Spruce has a hard shell to protect her from sharks. And how does it protect her? Does it make it so that sharks can't flip them or flip spruce around with their fins so that sharks can't bite spruce? So we're gonna get some ideas and my big challenge, I wonder if you can fill up most of the page with your ideas. Because once we're done with this, like I said, I'm gonna take some photos of your work and I will send them to the aquarium to share all of our learning. All right, friends, I am super excited to hear what you have learned about Spruce and her defenses using her structure to stay alive. Great work today and I'll see you soon.